morning everybody park rat pat here yay Whew. no video today um as far as hunting goes i messed up my back yesterday did something wrong and boom bang just right from the middle of my back on down gave me an instant headache that still hasn't gone away so yeah i'm not out there swinging my thing today and that's okay I can live with that. Uh, we do have some good stuff to talk about today, though. Let's start off by taking a look at this clip from our newest rat packer, Donald Ennis of Swamp Rat Nation. All right, Mr. Park Rat. Mr. Park Rat Pat, I'm out at our favorite area again. Got myself a... 80, 90 signal jumping all over the place. Dug it up and figured, oh, this is going to be something stupid again. Sure enough, something stupid. I just got me a Barber Dime, 1913. Boom. All right, that is super cool. First ever barber. Man, you got to love a moment like that. And moments like that, you know, they don't happen like uh, every freaking day. So when, when you're out there swinging your thing and come across something like that, it is super exciting. Very happy for you, Donald. Welcome to the Rat Pack, brother. We're going to go ahead and put aside a bandana and some other goodies for you. And uh, congratulations, man. Yeah, it takes a lot of hard work to get the good stuff. And I know a lot of people watching the videos don't fully get that. Um, you think it's all the A side of the album when there's a lot of B side you don't get to see. Let's take an example here of uh, one of our other Rat Packers, um, Digger Dan, Dan Anderson, King Clad. Um, he had a tremendous year. Um, he posted his stats today on Facebook, and I'm sure he's putting it out in a video, too. Over the course of this last year, he ended up with 1,776 quarters. That's a lot. 1,609 or 10 dimes, um, over 1,000 nickels, and over 3,000 pennies. The total was somewhere around $680. That's just the clad. Okay, that's not counting rings and blings and other cool things. That's just the clad. You're looking at over 7,000 holes dug during the course of the year to get that. And when you factor in all the trash and stuff, a conservative estimate would be to say he's dug at least 30,000 holes over the last year. That's a lot of work. That's an awful lot of work. And you don't see that always in, in people's videos. Yeah, they'll show you a trash pile. You say, oh, it's a pile of trash. And what you're not seeing is the little bitty pieces of junk and stuff in canfetti. And man, there's a lot of holes goes into getting the good stuff. So if you're thinking about getting into detecting, be prepared. Okay, it's not all rainbows and Skittles. And if you're thinking about getting into YouTube... Again, be prepared. You're not always going to be able to show everybody all the greatest stuff in the world. Um, anybody who's posting videos where it's all phenomenal stuff, one video after another, this, that's either not right or to a lot of extra work to make sure you're only showing the good stuff. You know, maybe somebody puts out a 15-minute video you know, this week where everything's stellar and a 15 minute video next week where everything's stellar. And what you don't see is the entire week worth of not stellar, not cool, you know, but you got to keep plugging away at it. So hats off big time to Digger Dan. That is a great roundup for the year. Congratulations, brother. Go over and check his video out or check him out on Facebook and see some of the other cool stuff he's found. Check out Dennis as well from Swamp Rat Nation. Dennis, sorry, Donald from Swamp Rat Nation. 
Um, he's been putting out a lot of good videos. He's got a nice chunk of property he's on, and it takes work. I mean, from the time you get to the property, you still have to hike in a mile to get to where the, the hunting begins. So yeah, there's a lot of effort involved in this. All right, I'm not going to chitter-chatter blah-blah too much. We're going to get things turned around here, get into that hot sauce tasting, and pick some more winners for today. I'm going to let my back rest up, and uh, hopefully I'll be up to snuff tomorrow and ready to get back out in the field. So let me get set up, and uh, we'll get this thing rolling. Okay, we are coming down to the wire here. We're on day five. Let's hope it's something nice. Oh, man. I don't know if I can handle anything, too. He gave us an ass. Ah, crap. All right. This, yeah. All right. We'll get it. There we go. Yeah. Ooh. Extra hot. Hmm. That's a new one. Let's check it out. All right. Here we go. It's a new one. Extra hot. Oof. All right, get this stuff shook up. I do have my bread at the ready. Oh, whew. Okie dokie. Get that little rubber seal out of there. Let's give it a sniff. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well. Didn't really, didn't really have an outstanding smell. Ooh, it's thick, tomato soupery, soupier, you know, like tomato soup. <sighs> okay, you can do this, park rat. All right, wish me luck. I'll see you on the other side. Ah. <laughs> oh. Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. Uh. Extra hot is extra right. Holy cow. Um, can I let the bread soak it up? Mmm. Oh, man. Ugh. Oh. Oh, yeah. That didn't help my headache. Ugh. Ooh. Serious, serious back of the throat burn. Hardcore up into the nose. I definitely feel it in my ears. My vision's kind of blurry. Oh, I don't have my glasses on. Okay, my vision's okay. Whew. Oh, yeah. I would not recommend that one. Mm. But at least it didn't taste barfy. Mm. That piece of bread there, so I don't step on it. Whew. Okay. Only a few more days to go with that stuff. I will be glad when it's over. Hoo ha. Mm. Alrighty now. Uh, before we get on to the rat pack rattle, I have to shout out once again all of the great contributors and, uh, providers for this advent giveaway uh the first two years i did it all on my own and this year i was blessed to have other folks step up to play and help out with the giveaways kelly co with their magnifiers the clarks from clarks cove detecting with those awesome railroad nails the numbered nails and remember they will be going live on christmas day and doing a metal detector giveaway it's a fisher they're very good machines 
So uh, be looking forward to that live stream. I'll be there taking part in the fun too. That'll be great. John Long Silver Rails for donating the Hosford Horde Wheat Pennies unsearched. We're just dropping a couple in every packet. And uh, thank you, John, for that. Mark Duncan of Ram Detecting uh, donated a lot of great coins, some silver coins, Civil War bullets, a shirt, a hat, stickers. Incredible pack he sent over that I've divided up into the other packs. Um, great poker chips from uh, Digging with Squeak. Thank you so much, Squeak, for that uh, generous contribution. Of course, my wife, Nita, um, Tupperware lady at large, um, donating those cleaners that I use out in the field, which I think everybody should be using. Um, Kimberly Creamer for donating shirts to the cause that she had gotten at Digstock. Thank you so much for that, Kimberly. And, of course, our good friends at Cedar Eagle for making the wonderful coasters, which I thought I had one here available to show. But, um, yes, those wonderful coasters. Uh, thank you so much for that. Check out Cedar Eagle on Facebook and on the web. You can find links to all of them down in the descriptions. Thank you so much. Y'all have made this the most epic Advent giveaway ever. Hey, there's my coaster. Right there. Awesome stuff. Cedar Eagle. High quality work. You're going to love their stuff. All right. Let's do that Rat Pack rattle. Oh, that didn't help my headache either. Okay. We got one. And the winner is, woo, second time in a row there, or not in a row, but second time, Dirt Trolling Troy Carmichael. Awesome stuff. Congratulations, brother. We are going to earmark another prize pack for you and get that all sent out at the end of the giveaway. <laughs> all right. Let me turn things around and we'll do that random comment pick for the day. All righty. Here we go with today's random comment pick. Now, well, hopefully my back will feel better tomorrow. We got that pasticated in there. And I'll be able to get out and detect and find a few cool things. Let's see how many unique commenters we had this go around. 96. Awesome stuff. I will take it. Let's go ahead and scroll up to the next section, segment, whatever you want to call it. There we go. Uh, whoops. <laughs> Because, you know, every once in a while, Patrick got to drop something. All right. All right. Not going to waste any time here. Good luck, everybody. Thank you all for playing along. Let's see who today's winner is. Pond Scum Magnet Fishing. That's Kathy. Awesome stuff. We are working on stuff for her right now. She says it's okay to skip a yucky hot sauce or even stop. We wouldn't love you any less for it. I wince every time you do that. I wince every time too, Kathy. Some of these things are just bad, bad. But you do what you got to do to keep the fun and excitement rolling. All right. Well, congratulations to our winners today. Kathy from Pond Scum Magnet Fishing and Troy from Dirt Troll and Troy. Big congratulations to our newest Rat Packer, Donald Ennis of Swamp Rat Nation. You guys are what makes this a fun thing to do. I really appreciate each and every one of you, whether you've won something or not. We've still got four days to go, eight more prize packs to give out, and of course, Christmas Day, somebody's winning a detector. Thanks to the wonderful folks over at Clark's Cove Detecting, Bob and Melissa. They've got hearts of gold. I'm looking forward to that moment right there. All right, everybody. That's it for me. You will see me in tomorrow's video, hopefully out there swinging my thing and feeling better. In the meantime, like, comment, subscribe. God bless. And never, ever forget, you are always one hole away from a really good day.